Okay, so this next part is for people that are switching from another email marketing provider and they already have an email list that they now wanna import into Aweber. If you are just getting started with email marketing and you don't have any contacts yet, just skip ahead to the next part where I'm showing you how to create a registration form or a landing page. But if you actually are switching and you wanna um, import your contacts to Aweber, just follow along right here. So to import your contacts, just go to the subscribers menu item on the top right here and then click on add subscribers. And then you can either add them manually. So if you click on add one at a time, you can just type in manually, which would probably take too much time. So I would highly recommend you just use the import multiple option here. So just click on import multiple. And then you have to kind of export your email addresses, your email list from your other provider so that you can import it into Aweber. So I would suggest you just export it as a CSV file. If you can't figure out how to do it with your other email marketing provider, just contact support and they will probably help you with exporting your email list. And once you have your file ready, just click on click to browse here and then uh, choose your exported file. I'll, I'll, I prepared here an example email list so I can show you how it works. And then it will upload the file to Aweber. And here we can decide if you wanna uh, only add the new addresses or also add addresses that are already on our Aweber account. It probably doesn't matter because you don't have any contacts on here already. Um, but I would just only add them once because if you have um, contacts multiple times, it doesn't really make sense and you have to pay for them twice. So um, I would just do it only add new. And then you have to kind of assign different informations about your uh, subscribers to an attribute here in Aweber. So what I usually just import is the name and the email address because everything else I don't really need. I don't need to have the location. I don't need to have the IP address and all that kind of stuff. I don't really care about it. But if you do, just go through there and then assign it to a tag or to um, an information uh, column right here. So it already recognizes that the name belongs to the name right here and then the email belongs to email. And that's fine for me. So um, I'm just gonna scroll down and then click on next confirm opt-in. And here it asks us if we want to kind of send everybody that we are importing now a new email asking them to confirm to be on our email list. And I would highly recommend to not do this because they don't really care if you're switching from another provider to Aweber and um, a lot of them probably won't re-opt in to your email list and you will lose a lot of subscribers. So um, just click on no, they don't need to confirm to join my list and click on next here. And then if you want to, you can also give them a tag. This is kind of how you can keep track of um, your interest of your subscribers. So you could say something like, um, the everybody that I'm importing right now will, will get the tag imported, um, let's say imported, uh, from MailChimp, something like that, so that you know uh, that these are the subscribers that you imported. But this is optional, you don't need to do this. Now click on um, next, and then um, you have to tell them how they joined your list because uh, they wanna kind of make sure that you're legit and you're not trying to kind of send spam to just random people. So um, just however you gotten those subscribers, just click on maybe um, they signed up on my website, then just type in your website right here. So let's say um, maddoxmedia.com um, Maddox and um, let us know if you're importing this website from other provider and then you can say yes, probably. And let's say we import them from MailChimp. Um, then click submit your import and then the import is processing. So you won't be able to access your contacts immediately. So you won't be able to send an email to them immediately. Um, they have to kind of confirm that everything's legit here. And it probably takes like one or two hours until they have confirmed this and then you will be able to um, have access to your subscribers. So then when you wanna check if the import of your email list actually worked, you can head back to the subscribers menu right there and then you should see all of your contacts once they're actually processed. Again, it might take a couple of hours until they have processed all of your contacts, depending on how big your list actually is.